Hello YouTube and welcome to part 3, technically, of Storyteller Plays, Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of Ruin. Uh, last two episodes were actually hour and a half long each, if not longer, and uh, live streamed, but they're on this channel. If I'm doing my job correctly, they'll be the first two in the playlist, but I'm going to assume that most people are going to want to start with this one, because ideally it's going to be shorter. Also, I'm starting out on the title screen, because uh, if I come into here to load... Load game. As you can see, I've got three different files, each because I've been doing different things. Uh, so this is my main file. I've been playing the game, but I've been skipping cutscenes, which is a wild ride, because you'll be in different environments with a different companion, just out of nowhere. Uh, this is the one that I'm going to start off with, and then this is the one that I've actually been playing. Like, there's only a quest between these two, and those are really just talking. Uh, I'll show you what I mean. Let's go. Load the game. Here we are, Ruto Village. It's just beyond the hill. A par right. Race you to the top, buddy. Enna's home. You've decided to travel with Enna, the Wyvarian girl, to protect the Raisewing Ratha egg entrusted to her by Guardian Ratha. You set off to her home of Ruto Village, where your grandfather Red once forged strong bonds with the Wyvarians living there. Also, I'm on fire. Stop, drop, and roll, Satu. No, well, I can just burn. Doesn't make a difference to me. Unfortunately, uh, doesn't the burn isn't enough to kill me. Look at that, I'm still half alive. Or I suppose I'm only half dead. And so this game is going to have a lot of stuff that I have to cut out, because it's just boring walking around like this. And I will just enter stream of consciousness mode and probably include a lot of it. But there is a lot of just goofing around to be done as well. Gotta show everybody the items I'm walking around and picking up off the floor. Here we are in Alcala. Isn't Alcala the name of that, uh, one serial killer that ended up on a dating show, Rodney Alcala? I'm sure they're spelled differently. I had no idea Alcala was this huge. Those hunters don't stand a chance of catching us way out here. Ruto is just through the woods on our left. Come, let's go. Fortunately, because I am recording this instead of live streaming it, I can also just cut out the uh, extremely long loading screens. I do not know why the loading screens are as long as they are. I guess the game does look pretty okay. Looks a hell of a lot better than Pokemon Sword and Shield, that's for sure. What is this movement with the egg? Kind of not safe to be putting it down, though. Is everything okay, buddy? How's the egg holding up? I'm going to assume it's fine. It's an egg. <laughs> it looks and smells nice and healthy. It's sure to become a claudacious Rathalos. I can't wait to meet the little guy. I'd rather it hatch into something else. Neither can I. I'm not that big on Rathalos, to be honest. Huh? Love me dragons, but like, hey. I don't like the color red. No offense, Grandpappy. Oh, thank goodness he stole the uh, girl, not the egg. It's going to be interesting actually seeing these cutscenes now that I think about it. Because it's like, I've traveled with a lot of these people, but I have no idea what's going on. Which is possibly the worst way to be playing the game on my own time. Whoa! Who's that guy? And why'd he take Anna? We've got to save her, buddy. We, that we do... Uh, I'm yeah, we picked the egg back up. We just did that off-screen, I guess. Don't want to animate too much. They went into the forest. Come on, after them. Well, kind of the only way we can go, my friend. Naveru is still annoying as hell. Here we are, the East at Tule Village, or forest. That's also probably not even how you pronounce that. It could be Spanish, so it could be Etuye. Probably not, though. Also, if you wonder why I'm not fighting any of these guys, it's because, uh, I don't know why I would do that. 
They're not difficult to kill, and um, all they drop is raw meat. I wonder why we dismount our monster every cutscene. And probably so they don't have to put the monsters in the cutscene. Smooth move, not very. Stone. Red? Yes, I am my own grandfather. No, of course not. Which comedian did it? Who uh, did that this bit on my own? I am my own grandpa. Sense. We met on Hakolo Island. If you just told me you were going to Hakolo Island, I've been worried sick, Anna. I thought you had been kidnapped, or even worse. Huh? What's going on? This guy's a friend of yours, Anna? Yes. He's from Ruto as well. Small village. I'm going to assume everybody's everybody's friend. I'm Alwyn. My duty is to keep our village secure. Well, it looks to me like we might have gotten off on the wrong paw, huh? I'm Naviru, and this is my buddy, a writer from Hakolo Island. Pleased to meet you. I hate that my hair clips through every I'll outfit. Like every single one. This way. Come. Let's go. I could activate it to where my hair isn't, uh, or my hat doesn't disappear in cutscenes. Get spotted. The moon's blessing is with me. So I've, in my own game, like I've been skipping cutscenes, so I don't really know what's going on. But like I've traveled with this cat, and I don't know if it's explained why she is the way she is. <laughs> I'm sorry about Alwyn. I assure you, he means well. But look, we're almost to Ruto now. Indeed, we are. If I wanted to go that way, there's a really cool egg I could be grabbing. I don't know why I'm doing this, considering I've already grabbed it on my other character. Ah, It won't let me run off anyway. Well, I'll just explain it eventually. Actually, we'll go to that cave. I've just already looted it. Okay, so we'll do it this way. The game's way. How boring. Ruto Village. Gotta be careful not to talk during loading screens, so I can just cut those out in their entirety. I've been live streaming, so talking during long cut or er, loading screens is necessary. But not while recording, because I can just cut those out, assuming I've got the energy to do so. You can gauge my energy level based on how quickly I even get videos out. Well, this is where I leave you. I'll see you at the Elder's house. I need to speak with Grandfather as well. Come by once you've looked around the village. Got it. Catch you guys later. These guys aren't going to have consistent voices, but that's not what we're about here on Storyteller WMD. Okay, so here's the village. It's awfully quaint. Uh, welcome to the Ruto Village, Alcala uh, is home to rare monsters. Or welcome to Ruto Village, Alcala is home to rare monsters. And peculiar eggs you can't find anywhere else. We actually need permission to utilize any of the uh, resources around here. You can also talk to the NPCs. Are you the human everyone's talking about? You don't look all that strong to me. The human who used to come here was really strong, though. You kind of remind me of him. That's right, even these kids remember our grandfather, but that's because why Varians live to be like 600 years old. Oh, so another thing that I learned because I played through quite a bit further, even though I was skipping cutscenes, I still talked to some NPCs, and I know that, uh, God damn it, what's her name? What is it? It's a new K. Something like that. Meow. Oh, this is just a barrel, though. Maybe there's a feline stuck inside. Come on, buddy. Let's get it uh, let's get it out of there. I've been spotted. Time to split. Uh, Tsuniko. That's probably cl closer. What the? It's gone. But it left, it left something behind. Oh, it's a downy crake. But it'll make a great pet for your house. There are seven of those, and uh, we never feed them. And so, welcome to the family, downy crake. 
My apologies for worrying you, but... I spoke to Aoi. What were you thinking, running off to Hakolo Island like that? I had to keep my promise to Red. He wanted his old kinship stone taken there. And you crossed the sea on your own, just for that? Elder, Zellert, this is the rider from Hakolo Island. I am. Thanks for finally, finally acknowledging me. Naviru and best buddy reporting for duty. Naviru, I barely like you. Hmm. So you are Red's grandchild. I do see the resemblance, I suppose. Well, it's literally only the eyes and skin color. If there is anything we can do for you, by all means, ask. Yes, I could use a million dollars. And where did you procure this? Guardian Ratha gave it to me. And then you brought it here? Yes, why not? I had no choice. There are hunters after it. Please, let's keep the egg here. Just until it hatches. When are we going to get a Monster Hunter ri er, Stories game where we get to play as an adult? And not some child who should not be going on these adventures until they're older. Descendant of Red, do you know of the right of channeling? I do, but this character does not. I see. So you have come here without having completed the right. <laughs> you are inexperienced as a rider and have nowhere near the power held by your grandfather. You would not be capable of forming a bond with the monster in this egg. It's a Rathalos, so I've actually no interest. What do you know? of the wings of ruin. Legend speaks of Razewing Ratha, a monster so powerful it can bring ruin to the world with every beat of its wings. You just wanted to title drop Some the game. Say it was such a monster that laid waste to the village that once stood on this site. So you're saying that inside this egg it is a Rathalos. The description of the egg in the legend. But it's true, I've seen other Rathalos eggs and they don't look like that. Seriously believe all that. You can't just decide the monster's gonna be evil before it's even born. I know, it doesn't exactly sound fair. However, should this Rathalos hatch and awaken to its destructive power, you will be to blame for what happens. I can live with that. What was that orb that just grew out of my head and then disappeared? In fact, it looks like my character is covered in a, a billion tiny little white bugs. Entrusted with, no matter what kind of egg it may be. As a start, let's see if the human youth has what it takes to participate in the rite of channeling. Oh good, that guy's got orbs going out of his head as well. I like how because I skipped the cutscenes in my first save, I've never seen these before and I'm extremely distracted. Yes. Grandfather. Don't sweat it, buddy. You can do this. Come on, let's get this little guy hatched. Hell yeah. You gotta keep it safe first. They even set up a house for us. How's that for hospitality? Let's check it out, buddy. Okay, so, um, Tsuniko is not here yet. I know that she's in this village three or four times, and then the next one three or four times. Because seven is not an even number. Anna, you look awful. Go ahead and put your other clothes back on. Could the legend grandfather spoke of really be true? What legend? Don't worry, Anna. It I was distracted by orbs. Out. More importantly, we need to focus on learning about the right of channeling. Of course. The right will help prove to everyone you have what it takes to succeed. If Red could do it, I'm sure you can too. As far as I know, I don't actually... I'm not too involved in it, in the process. It was Red's room years ago. Wow! My buddy's grandpa stayed here too? Interesting. Yes. Red was the first human ever to visit Ruto Village. His coming here was our salvation too. Oh, right! Your Gramps talked about owing Red big time for something he did. Red saved the world. I'll tell you that story later. For now, please try to get some rest. After that, go meet Alwyn at the stables. Will do. Either 
She tells us that story in a cutscene and I skipped it. Or she's full of shit because I feel like I'm halfway through the game and I've yet to hear the story. It's probably just in a cutscene though. So anyway, here's our house. Uh, I don't know if I showed off the house in the demo, but it's identical. These are the same house. Also, there's my little downy crake. There's going to be seven of the buggers in here. I do know two of her locations in the next uh, village. These are our stables. Feel free to use them as you please. Oh, I will. Let me know if there's anything you need help with. Can I have a basil geese egg? Hey, thanks. Uh, say, where can a feline get some donuts around here? Dough nuts? What are those? It would help if Navarro was spelling them correctly. It's D O U G H N U T S. Come on. We're talking about the greatest food in the world. I'm sorry, but I've never heard of them. They're a delectable treat, fried in oil. Sounds healthy. Sweet, shaped like a ring, and each bite is pure bliss. If you really don't know about donuts, how come you don't go nuts? I swear I heard that very recently in The Simpsons, that exact joke. Round and fried in oil? Doesn't sound very healthy, to be honest. It's extremely healthy. That's not the point. Come on, Alwyn. If you've really never heard of donuts... Don't. don't go nuts! Naveru, stop. Look, even my character's done with I'm this. I'm not sure what you mean. No, no, don't you get it? Donuts? Go nuts! I'm sorry, I still don't. Are they spelling donuts that way just for that joke? Oh, that was a joke? Sorry, I don't really get it. Alwyn, you need to get out more. And Naviru, you need to just stop. I see. I'm on neither of their side. I've noticed, our village is made up of only Wyverians. Monster riding is all we've ever known. We only started exploring the outside world fairly recently. How'd those guys get up these stairs? I guess we still have a lot to learn. Sounds like you're all in the same boat. My buddy here never left Tokolo Island until now. All right, I'm a sheltered child. It's your first journey away from home? That can really take a lot out of you. You should get some rest. Don't worry, my parents didn't object. In fact, I don't think I have parents. I forgot what he sounded like. Come to the Elder's house when you're done. He wishes to speak with you. That's what he sounds like now. Yeah, so I had to climb up either these stairs or those stairs and up this bridge. Meaning these guys can get up here, but they can't get back down. What's up? You're Red's grandkid, aren't you? He and, uh, he and I really helped each other out back in the day. It's my job to take care of the Aptonoth. Well, me and that guy sitting over there, but he's always slagging off. Despite having a family to feed, he could really work on his work ethic, if you know what I mean. Sure. I completely froze up. Ah, so scary. I'm going to assume that Antonov Aptonoth stepped on his toes. I still wish I could ride one of those guys. Like, look at them, just vibing. He knows what's up. Not really eating anything. He's just pretending to eat so people don't worry for him. Braver than any U.S. Marine. Hmm. So you have come. Yes. A wild Paolumu appeared in the forest a little while back. Some of our riders were injured trying to escape. Paolumu? Never heard of him. A Paolumu? But those fluff balls are adorable. How can they hurt anybody? Pretty easily. Normally, they don't attack people at all. Yeah, I'm going to call nonsense on that. I've guess. played Monster Hunter. Uh, this one is what is it called? Normal. Indeed, this is the first time we've had to face such a threat. World, like Monster Hunter World. Investigate. Show us your skills as a rider. So soon. It's a good thing I don't have webcam, otherwise people could have seen my face like good just freeze. I was lagging. More, the child has Red's kinship stone. Indeed. This also, I'm 26. Is a chance for them to show if they are capable of taking part in the right of channeling. Could you talk any slower? I agree with Zeller. If you plan to form a bond with Arathalos, you must hone your skills as a writer. I think that they all speak slowly because they live for like 10,000 years and they're in no hurry to do anything. We'll show you what we're made of. Wait a moment, Elder. 
They don't have the necessary experience. Hey, whose side are you on? We took down an Anginac and not just by a whisker. Yeah, but we did have help. Proving my point. That overconfidence could be your undoing. Why yada? The safety of the village is my responsibility. I'd prefer it if. Relax, Alwyn. I see where you are going with this. You may accompany them. You are welcome to throw stones at them from above. Every hand helps. Now that it's been decided, make your way to the forest. Oh, I'll make my way to the forest. I still say we could have handled this on our own. Nonetheless, we'll do our best. Please be careful. And don't worry, careful is my middle name. Uh, Paul Lumo live among the Etule fluff, uh, lofty trees, just a little ways beyond the village. Are you ready to go? In Red's footsteps, the Wyvarians of uh, Ruto look upon the Rathalos egg that you and Enna brought back with suspicion. For them, it is nothing but an ill omen. You must prove that you are capable of taking on the right of challenging by heading into the forest where strange happenings have been reported. Also, Alwyn is now our buddy. Okay, let's go. Uh, where is this? Where are the stairs? There we go. Let's go. Leave in the evening, of course. I'm nocturnal by nature. Remember, buddy, this is no ordinary stroll in the forest. There's an angry Palumo running around here somewhere. Also, if you don't know why things look a little bit different, it's because I changed characters in between. My hair clips through this even worse now. Can't equip layered armor yet. This area has remained unchanged since ancient times. Many kinds of monsters live here, along with some rare species of insects. Sweet, let's destroy the ecosystem. A lot of them have been disappearing lately. So you think strange things are happening around here too? Let's hope not. There was much more wildlife around here in Red's time, though. It could have only been like what, fifty years? Oh, so that means you knew my buddy's grandpa too, then, huh? Yes. Everybody Everyone did. Talks about him like he was a celebrity. What was he really like? Huge dork. Put into words. I knew him almost his entire life. I have so many memories of him. Our village has long since been inhabited solely by Wyverians. Not everyone Do was tell. happy about him being allowed to come and go as he pleased. However, he never let any of that bother him. He and Guardian Ratha just kept showing up again and again. He was always so open and friendly. He was freedom incarnate, a perfect match for the King of the Skies. An incredible man. Did he raid anybody's yeah, fridge? That runs in the family, huh, buddy? <laughs> Hold on. If you knew the old guy since he was a kid, how come you still look so young? How do you not know where Varian is? Human's age is a little different. The way they age? Yes, we live longer and age slower than humans. Wow, how about that? That makes me wonder. How old do you think Anna is? Mm, Six hundred and forty. As old as an elder dragon. When Red first arrived here, everyone said it was impossible for humans and Wyverians to be friends. I wonder if they are ever going to tell us any Why of their canonical ages. Because we could only spend such a short time together. Humans mature in what feels like the blink of an Stop eye. Stop touching us. me. Were you afraid humans wouldn't want to be pals with you anymore once they grew up? Yes. But we were wrong. Even though I can no longer meet Red anymore, I still consider him one of my closest friends. Oh, he's dead. Therefore, I'd never be able to forgive myself if I let you get hurt on my watch. So that's why you insisted on coming with us. Do you hear that? There's a monster nearby. Well, this is kind of a forest. I'm going to assume it's their home. You got better senses than me, huh? I'm in so many cutscenes. Hmm. This is nothing. It's completely normal for us. Back in his day, Red trained his senses to an even higher level. The best I can do is pick up on distant sounds. 
But your ears are so large. But we could actually hear the voices of monsters. The voices of monsters? Come on. This way. It's interesting how my hair only sometimes clips through my clothes. Look, the scout flies have found something. Come on, buddy. Follow the light. The scout flies seem quite useful. The lofty trees can be confusing, so they should be a big help. What is this? Some crushed flowers? Or torn up grass? Let me go ahead and just loot the whole place. Aloe leaf is probably good for burns. I don't know, I've never actually made burn heal. Well, they, call it, they just call it burn ointment. Hmm, yes. Some half-eaten mushrooms. Some broken bones. And best always scoop up some honey when you see it. Uh, there are actually no threats, but the cool thing about this uh, Narkuga, or whatever they're called, is that they can just do this, and I'm invisible now. Also, I just did not read what Naveru said. It's probably not important. And what's this? Some uh, spider web of, uh, in a broken tree? Well, at least the spider web is fine. Gotta always be scooping stuff up. I think it's interesting that the game did let me get this early. Because you do fight the uh, Narakuga as a boss. And then you get to pick up its egg, but I already have it. So do I get two eggs? Probably not. Not sure what you'd want to do with a second Narakuga anyway. Good chance I'm not even saying his name correctly, but I can't read, so... Oh, sweet. A heart choro. What's that big thumping? Huh. Oh, well, it's just something large and loud. Possibly even somehow one of our monsters making the noise. Just pick up the dung. Once you find enough tracks, the scout flies will show you the way to the monster's den. Yep. Excuse me. So yeah, being able to turn invisible is pretty good for stealth attacks. Is that the sound of me coming to a stop? Yes? Kind of? Seems like it. Let's go. I must accidentally engage to that enemy in combat. We're pretty strong, but I can't let anybody know that I've already forgotten what the attack patterns of most of these monsters are. Mm, throwing knife. Hello, is there a pomelu in here? There's the pomelu den. So dens are kind of interesting because there can be dens inside of dens. And, like, look at the size of this place. They're like pocket dimensions. So my question is, if I layer enough dens, do I eventually reach limbo? That's how pocket dimensions work, right? Nope, didn't mean to dismount. Go ahead and switch back to spook. Mm, come on, buddy. Next episode will have a lot more combat in it, but this one I'm avoiding combat because uh, there's just so many cutscenes. Of course I don't know how long the cutscenes are until I'm stuck in them. So that can lead to some interesting things where I'm like, oh well. If I want this video to be of sane length, I need to stop recording in the next ten minutes, but surely this cutscene can't be half an hour long. And then the cutscene ends up being half an hour long. Huh, looks like nobody's home. I probably should have explored this place better. Get me some free loot. I don't usually record at this hour. It's currently, uh, 12.57 in the AM. I'm mostly doing this so that the ways in which I can screw around off-camera without progressing the game uh, open up a little. Anyway, let's find ourselves a Pamalumu. 
Uh, Paoloma may look cute and fluffy, but they're super fierce when they're all riled up. Go hide somewhere it can't reach you. Fighting a monster like this on the ground is just asking for trouble. Hey, we didn't come here just to watch from the sidelines. We can still fight, right, buddy? Yes. I think they use technical attacks? Yep. Oh no, he's resistant to my bows. I do have other strong weapons. Uh, let me check. Not monsties. Let's go ahead and go into skills. Switch weapon. Oh, I didn't actually change any of my weapons. Whatever. Mm, fight. Actually, let me go ahead and charge. That's all I wanted to do. And charge. You're going to see, um, what's his name, do this a lot as well. I'll win. Oh, they're using technical. We should be using power. Goes to show how much attention I'm paying. Actually, I don't want to just use that. So let me go ahead and go into skills. And pure shot power. Yep, there goes Alwyn just charging up. Doesn't have the same uh, flair to it as the Dragon Piercer. It's also interesting, because I've fought a uh, Paloma before. I should be able to see his health bar, but I guess because this is a boss fight, they don't want me to. Mm, power shot. Nope, he's using Hyper Vacuum, which means he's going to switch to speed attacks, I think. Could be power. Uh-oh, its neck pouch has inflated. What is it planning to do? Blinding it is one way of taking it down, but you need to consider how to deflate its neck pouch. Don't worry. I'm gonna shoot it in the neck. Just like the tiny serial murderers our character technically is. Okay, so I think he switches to speed, so I'm going to use technical on his neck pouch. Yep, I was correct, he does switch to speed. Which means I should probably search my monster. Looks like that attack made an impact. Well, of course it did. Mm, thank you, Spook. I'm sorry for letting you take damage like that. Okay. Actually, Spook is using technical as well, so we can team up. I don't need to switch monsters. Let's go. I do like the implication that I just kind of smack them with my bow when we do that. Oh, way to go, Spook, using technical again. And here I was, going to switch to my Puke Puke. I've not named the majority of my monsters now that I think about it. Let's ride. Okay, so flashing light warning. Let's go ahead and bring down the neck pouch or whatever the hell. I do feel like there's got to be some negative health effects to moving around as quickly as we are. A good cat burn thing. Hate to burst your bubble, Paolumo, but what goes up must come down. It's grounded now. Brace yourself. Need power shot. I'm going to speed combat up slightly because I don't actually care what their uh, ride skill looks like. But also, smart Narakuga. Switching to power attacks. Paoluma should be switching back to uh, technical.
Dude, buddy, you were using a power attack last time that would have been effective. Oh, well, I guess that's all for this Pauluma, though. Thanks for the tips, Elwyn. You're not as green as I thought. I learned something from this encounter, too. New gene slots for Spook. Come to think of it, I've not nicknamed a lot of my other monsters. Another step closer to the right of channeling. Yell yeah, yeah. We couldn't have done it without you, Alwyn. You make a pretty decent teacher. You might even be better at it than me. And I'm navigating Naviru. You're an idiot, though, so. A teacher? You've got to be kidding. If you really want to become a better writer, you can learn more from the monsters than I could ever teach you. Yes, I'm willing to learn. Monsters are much closer to nature than we are. They're in tune with the world around them. Understanding what a monster is trying to tell you is one of the most important skills you can develop. Well, Interesting. I will work on it. easier said than done. First, you must learn how to listen. Now, now I'm all confused. It's because you don't listen, Naveru. Just keep improving little by little. You'll see what I mean. Come, we need to report to the Elder. Now you're talking! Let's ride, buddy! Let's go. This is our chance. Grab an egg and get moving, buddy. So kind of like the uh, Narcuga egg that I clearly already picked up, you can only get a Pauluma egg from here. Let's go! Let's put on a show. They'll never take me alive. Yep, let's go ahead and leave. We're doing well. Heck yeah, we got a Pauluma egg. We're eating good tonight. Uh... Let's see here, I've been recording for 40 minutes, so this episode's going to be on the longer side. Let me stop recording for now, uh, try to find something extremely important, and then just pick it up for the rest of the episode. Let me check the map real quick. Yeah, okay. I can freely explore the forest. See y'all in a bit, which will be instant for you. Okay, so while this is where I need to get the uh, thing I was looking for... Yep, yeah, a caravan stand. Uh, I don't think I can get it yet. I think that it's one of those things that is triggered by a story quest, which is unfortunate. I'll probably get it in the next episode. Ooh, a rare den. I suppose we can snoop around a little bit. If I go stealth, I don't have to do any combat. And while there's probably not a good egg in here, I can uh, loot some chests. Here we are back in town. Okay. Anybody out of place? This would help if I had memorized how many NPCs were actually even here. Because Tsuniko will appear as a little green dot in her hiding places. Excuse me? Okay, so it's currently 2 a.m. I didn't spend that entire time looking for a uh, nurse, so don't worry. Hmm, I see you are back. How was it? It was just like you said. I don't know why, but that Paolumu was going nuts. Probably because I didn't have any worry. donuts. We made sure it won't be causing any more trouble. Well done. However, you still lack experience. You must work a lot harder if you plan to protect this egg. It would be easier to protect if it wasn't an egg. You got any other problems around here? We'll solve them all. No big deal. Bring it on! Big words from somebody who doesn't actually do anything. Some of our villagers have been reporting an increase in monster attacks on the Harzgai Rocky Hill. We suspect it to be Are they? Of a monster camouflaging itself among the rocks and boulders. That doesn't sound like a Nurcilla at all. Looks like a rock? Hmm. I feel like 
like I've seen one of those before. Well, it's not a Nocilla, so I'm not interested. Identify the creature. You'll go find out what it is. I'd like to accompany them on this quest as well. Of course. Go ahead. You may come with us. So, we're looking for a monster disguised as a boulder. I'm sure Alwyn will have some good... Uh, have some good guidance, right, Alwyn? Uh, the invisible enemy. Still still deemed unsuitable for the right of channeling, which I was hoping to unlock before ending the episode, but whatever. You now face a new challenge. You must head to Harzagi Rock... Uh, Hazargi Rocky Hill to track down a monster that has been causing havoc there. I should probably end the episode, because this is a long one. So, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Uh, go ahead and leave a comment, it's really good for the algorithm. It is thanks to comments that I'm actually doing this at all. Well, hello there. I knew it was a good idea to look around before ending the episode. I got a bad feeling about this catavanner. Got the smell of danger about it. It's perfectly safe. Uh, safely taking new, uh, Mew anywhere Mew want to go. That's the caravan guarantee. Wait, there's another catavanner? Just who are you then? Thank you for your patronage. Hey, where'd it go? Looks like it left something behind. Wow, it's a downy crate, buddy. It'll make a great pet for your house. Well, that makes two that we're never going to feed. Okay, so after important quests, we look around the village. That's pretty doable. Uh, she's only hiding seven times, so... Do we know what to do? I already did the outro, but because I screwed around, uh, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more. Farewell, bye.